face what's left The thorns we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust With season three, episode two of Genshin Impact. Anyway, let's get into the game because so much to do and so little time to do so. Okay, so you kind of caught me in the middle of uh, of wishing. Yes. Uh, what happened was I think the last yeah last episode I managed to gain two new regular wishes and yeah I'm gonna just go quickly uh, use them right now see if we can get anything. Out of it so anyways this is my wishing spot right here which I believe I did show this in back in season two I think but this is always 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 how and where I wish I always sit right here uh, I do change up the character well I used to change the character mainly lately I've been just using this character um, but I kind of like have this whole ritual thing I, I sit here 
Uh, normally, you know, I gotta pick and choose my, my what character I want to use here, and then I uh, <laughs> always set the clock to around uh, pretty much exactly noon. Which, of course, I always gotta go a little bit before because whenever you click between, sometimes it uh, like if I just quickly do that up there, yeah. Okay, now we're definitely on twelve, uh, and then I'll, I'll wish. And again, yes, it ha it doesn't. It doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't. It doesn't do, but it's just it's what I do. It makes me feel like I have better luck doing this, so. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, let's see if we're even guaranteed anything right now. Uh, probably not. Nope, definitely not. We just got a four, four star just before here. So, uh, let's see. This next one's going to be two and three. So it's only going to be like a 20% and a 30% chance to get something. I mean, yeah, there's always the, always the chance. But, okay, so this is a 20% chance to get a four star. Which, nope. And 30% chance to get a 4 star. Nope. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, I tried. Okay, so anyways, uh, last episode we did manage to get another achievement done, which is defeat the perpetual mechanical array in its weakened state. So, yay, more promo, ge promo gems. Which now we're up to being able to later on get twelve intertwined fate at some point. But anyways, you never know. You never know if if um if by sitting here might actually help. You never know. So hey, there's no, there's no, uh, no harm in trying, you know, it's all based on luck, so it's all really is. Alright, anyways, for this episode, we're finally going to get to the, the event that's going on right now, which, it says, a mysterious masked shrine maiden is by the strange fox statue, seemingly with something to request of you. Wait a minute. That sounds awfully like that other thing we're supposed to do. Cause see, there's we do have to interact with this this area which we're traveling to right now uh, for another quest, which will then take us on another quest after that, which will then take us to unlock something we try to do at the end of the last episode. Huh. Oh, okay, there's no voices. I guess I gotta read. Excuse me, busy traveler, but I have a favor to ask. Please, look at the sky kitsune statue over here. There. Sorry, there. And I probably butchered that one word. There is a ward within it that they say can only be removed by someone who has courage values friendship and who is favored by the might of electro oh okay this right here okay i understand this now what we're working on right this very second is actually already part of the game okay but we have to do this quest here in order to unlock the actual event quest which is Eight locales over mountains and seas. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so that explains that. Otherwise, if I hadn't just looked that up, I'd be like, oh, so this is part of the... Uh, time stuff. But no, this part what we're working on right now is not. I used the power of Electro on the statue. Okay. Oh, that's a ward. 
Oh, it's not the same one, though. I was right. You are the destined one. With your skills and experience, mm, this shouldn't be a problem. Excuse, excuse my rudeness. My name is Kazari, and I am a shrine maiden. Do shrine maidens usually wear masks? Asked Paimon. I have my reasons for that. The village in front of you is named Konda Village. What, no Kondike bars? Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyways, uh, she continue, continues to say, And there is a barrier within it that needs to be lifted. That barrier is hidden behind a certain secret. I'd like to entrust you with a little investigation and with lifting that barrier. Uh, investigation? Yes, it may take some time and trouble, but I'm sure that you will reveal the truth in the end. Well, that sounds like a lot of work. Will there be payment? Of course. To those who seek shall just reward be given in proportion to their wisdom and work. That's what she used to say. So no, there's no need to worry. She? I shall be counting on you for this investigation, destined one. Well, anyways... Uh, oh, we need to go this direction. Oh! Okay. This should be Konda Village. Secrets. Hmm. Yes, Paimon smells something suspicious. I <laughs> said, well done, Paimon. Uh, Paimon's nose is better than a dog's. How rude! Paimon was just saying the obvious. It might look very peaceful here, but Paimon's sure there's got to be something dark going on. Really? There's got to be some secrets here. Miss Masked Maiden said so. Anyway, let's get to the... Sorry, let's talk to the locals first. Maybe we can find something out. Uh, Dark Secret? That's right. Yeah, if... Okay, let me just look at the map real quick, because I think I... Yeah, this is a little goofy on where the... Where the, uh, the word is. See, the word is right here, Conda Village. But yet the village is right here, so it's kind of odd that it's more closer to, like, this teleport than like be more down here as to where it actually is but yeah okay I'm just just pointing that out okay let's talk to Futaba hello strange big sis what's up have you encountered anything strange lately strange I don't get it what kinds of things would you consider strange uh, like something that's hard to explain. Hmm. Oh, I know. Did something come to mind? There's a weirdly dressed outlander and a floating white talking, or sorry, floating white thing talking to me. <laughs> that is indeed strange. I know, right? Hey, you two. Okay, I'll be serious. One night, it suddenly started raining very heavily. Then, I heard a strange sound outside the house that accompanied the sound of the rain. A strange sound? Yes, it was like an intermittent clicking, clacking sound. The next day, I went to check it out. Then, I saw some floating bags in the village gully. I left them alone because I didn't know who had put them there. They might have washed away by now. You can have a look along the galley. Uh, sorry, gully. Uh, were there any other clues? Other than that, I can't think of any. You can go ask my dad. He knows a lot of things. Your dad? 
Conda then then Saki? No. Then Suku? Then Suku. You know what? We'll just say Conda D. <laughs> the chief of Conda Village. Huh? That old man's your dad? Wait, what? Oh. Actually, I was adopted. He adopted me. So now I'm his daughter. Oh. You can go ask my nephew Taku... Takua? Ta no, Tak... Takaru. Maybe it's Takaru? No. I don't know. I'm not sure how to say it. Wait a second. Nephew? Nephew? <laughs> my dad's grandson. I'm my father's daughter, so he's my nephew. This family is pretty complicated. I see. Thank you. Glad I could help. Um, why isn't Taku here yet? We were supposed to hang out today. Did he go up to the roof again? Okay, so at least we talk to the right person first. What can I do for you, youngster? You are... My name is Conda D. And I'm the village chief. From the way you dress, you must be out... I mean, outlander, right? It's been a long time since an outlander has come to the village. How can I help you? Need a place to rest your feet? Or do you need help to find your way up the mountain? I want to go up up the mountain. No, we're here to ask about the secret of Conda Village. Oh boy. Secret? Conda Village doesn't have any secrets. Although the economy isn't good these days and the taxes should be paid to the police station. Oh wait, I'm, hold on. All, no. Let me reread this. I lost where I'm at. Although the economy isn't good these days, all the taxes that should be paid to the police station are paid regularly regardless. Okay, there we go. There are only a few families in our village, all with a long history, and we know each other's roots. How can we have any secrets? Uh, calm down a little. Conda Village is simple and peaceful. There are no secrets here. If you're looking for secrets, why don't you just go to the Grand Narakami Shrine and learn the secrets of deciphering fortune slips. Or how about you go to Chinju Forest and see if you can hear the Ten... Tenokai? No, it's Tenyukai. Uh, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to try to butcher that any farther. Uh, can you hear the T-Bay, huh? <laughs> Phew. Sorry, I might have overreacted. Conda Village is a peaceful place. Youngster, are you sure you don't have the wrong village? But... If you don't believe me, you can look around yourself. I, Conda D, <laughs> will not stand in your way. Okay, uh... Hey, there's that boy the girl was talking about. Let's let's try uh, asking him for info, even though I know it's not exactly the best source, but hey, she did mention him. Amazing, you climbed up so easily. Uh, looking at you, you should be an outlander, right? It's been a super long time since I've seen an outlander. Well then, speak. What can Conda t Takara? No, no, it's not. Well, it's ta 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 you ta Takara. Conda T. We'll say I'm Conda T. I'm, I'm, 
I don't want to butcher his name anymore. Uh, what can Conda T do for you? Oh, Outlander from afar. What an arrogant little kid. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Shh, keep your voice down. I can tell you, but promise me you won't get scared. During thunderstorms, things get spooky around here. There's a strange, spooky ghost lady. I'll say hi when I see her. Huh? How can you be so calm after I told you something like that? When I told Grandpa D, he didn't believe me neither. Or sorry, either. He said that I must have been mistaken. Uh, any other unusual things going on here? I guess that would be the broken cart at the entrance of the village. I wonder who left it there. See, that's it over there. There are hilly churls digging at it too. Okay, so far we have two clues now. The broken cart and wherever that's at. There. Okay, the broken cart's there. And then the the bags that the girl spoke about. Which I have no idea where they're at. So it's something in the water. Okay, obviously not there. Is there any water back here? Well, there's... Wait, what? Uh, I don't have the key, do I? Nope. I need a key. Let's try over here. I could have sworn she said it was in the water. Right? No, she said golly. Okay, my translation's a little off here. Uh, hold on. A trench. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, a trench which was originally worn in the earth by running water through which water often runs after rains. Okay, yeah, that... Yeah, so... Okay, that's what it says there. So, when I was originally looking at that one spot, I guess that was... Normal. Okay, so here's the broken cart. This must be the broken cart T mentioned. But other than some tattered paper, Paimon doesn't see anything special here. Let's see, the contents of this piece of paper are a shogunate ledger of goods and payments. The goods are this book, blah blah blah, Participating in blah blah, and the number is something something volumes. It says volumes, which must refer to things made of paper, right? Uh, ragged list of goods.
Okay, so I'm not sure where the little girl was talking about, about these bags. Because I originally looked in here. Which is... I'm not sure what you call this specifically. Because this would be more like a trench here. Um... But it's been designed this way. Whereas when I was reading it up, that was more like a, uh... Well, no, no, a trench can be both natural and man-made, so... So, yeah, it should be in here, right? You know, there's a little bit of a screwy uh, thing going on here. Notice on how fast the water is moving right there, okay? And continuing on down, all right? Now, if the water was really moving that fast in that direction, that means all the water in this, I'll say trench, should be gone by now. It's like, where is this even coming from? As we can see, it just, it starts here. It's not coming from anywhere else. So... It's not... <laughs> you see what I'm trying to point out here? It, it's kind of screwy. And I've seen other games do it too, so I'm not just trying to call this one out. I've seen other games do this where... It's like, where's the water coming from? It's, it's not coming from anywhere. How is it just randomly still going? Like, what the hey? It's really weird. All right, let's talk to her again, see if I can find out about the... Yeah, here we go. Okay, are you looking for those bags? Uh, if you follow the gully... Oh, follow. Oh, good gosh. Okay, so... If we follow this... But no, we just did follow it. I came all the way out here and there was nothing out here. Oh, there it is. That's not bags. That's like a big giant box, unless this is something else. You're okay, you're trying to tell me that this wooden pile, they're calling it a bag? Excuse me, the only bag I see here is this little tiny one right here. Unless that is specifically what they're talking about, but then how'd the other thing get here? I'm confused. I'm totally confused. Because, I'm sorry, a box is not a bag. Just It just doesn't happen. So, it's just that the little highlighting thing there is on the actual, like, wooden pile itself. It's not on the bag itself. So, that's where I'm, I'm having a little bit of a translation error here. Uh, between bag and box. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, okay, so this must be one of the floating bags that, uh... Futaba mentioned, aren't they? Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, she picked up the bag. Okay, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. Was specifically the bag. Yeah, cargo bag, fished out of water. Alright, alright, fine. We're good. We're good. I understand now. It was the bag. It just, it threw me off with where the the marker was, was located at. Alright, cargo bag fished out from water. A bag of cargo you discovered in the water while following the gully, it seems to have washed away. Okay, so I guess we still need one more clue. I guess we'll talk to... Tajima? No. Oh, no. I've circled the village over and over again. I still can't remember anything. Though the people and everything else here feel familiar, something seems to have gone missing ever since I lost my vision. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. I don't think this is part of the quest. No, let's just say goodbye for now. Um, that didn't lead, that's not leading into what we're working on right now, so, uh, next person. Uh, let's try her. 
Hello, youngster. Are you here to listen to this old woman's stories? Yeah, here we go. Have you encountered anything strange lately? The strangest thing is how we haven't heard from Juro for such a long time. My old husband's even put up a search notice in Inazuma City. Juro used to hang out with the youngster, sorry, the young gangsters in the village. We urged him to join the army because they were together from morning to night, and they were always up to no good. Maybe the kid's broken off contact because we pushed him too hard. Speaking of which, it seems like I haven't seen any of those punks for a while either. Uh, anything else out of the ordinary? Add the, out, out of the ordinary, let's see. In the past, travelers and tourists from various countries would disembark at Rito, and they would pass through our village on their way to Inazuma City. The village was always busy, and we would open our doors for outlanders, but that hasn't happened for a long time. That's unusual, isn't it? Mr. I, I'm a... Okay, the, it looks like it's spelled I'm a Tanny, which I, that's that, no, no, there's no way it's pronounced like that. Uh, no, you know what, Mr. I, I'm just going to say Mr. I, I'm not going to try to butcher that. So, Mr. I never worried much about the kids in the past, nor would Jiro ever have fought any war, no matter who told him to. This is, this is also very abnormal. And the deserted shrine at the foot of the mountain would never have fallen into disrepair in the past like it has now. I've heard that the statue of the great fox occasionally sheds tears. That's not normal either, is it? The Konda family as well is always dry, even though there's plenty of water all around. Someone locked the well up the other night, and our soul knows who did it. This kind of thing isn't normal either, right? Little T even said that he saw a ghostly woman during a stormy night, but who knows... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. But who or what would haunt such a peaceful village? This, too, is very abnormal, yes? There are just too many strange things going on for an old woman like me. These... Are these what you want to know? Uh, so about the punks you mentioned earlier. Do you know where they are, Granny? They're a band of troublemaking brats. They almost likely went somewhere new to make trouble. As long as Jiro isn't influenced by them, I couldn't care less. Still, you just reminded me of something. I've heard that for a while, there was a lot of Mora scattered inside the dry well behind the village chief's house. But a group of Ronin came to the village later and took almost all of it. That's all I know. If you want to know more, you can go ask our village chief. Okay, so look for clues. Ah, there it is. Two out of three. Uh huh. So there's one more clue. Um. Well, she did say about the statue, but as for where we're supposed to go, it's telling me I need to go to the well. Let's see if they say something different. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? It's tightly locked, just like Granny said. There seems to be something here. Wow, it's a marked corn pouch. Are you thinking what Paimon's thinking? Uh, what's on your mind? Pylon's thinking about buying lots and lots of snacks with this Mora. And I'm thinking there shouldn't be a coin pouch here. Ah, you mean that we should make it disappear, right? Just kidding. Uh, a coin pouch by the well? That means... That means someone's hiding something. And this well's in the village chief's yard. Okay.
Well, back to the village chief. Well then, what can I do for you, youngster? We found the evidence. Evidence? What evidence? I don't understand what you mean. Evidence about the strange instance in the village? Please stop pretending. Nonsense. What kind of... What kind of strange instance could possibly happen in our village? Well, all right then. Show me. Uh, start with what was found near the well. Paimon's leaving it up to you. Okay, this was found at the dry well in your backyard. Oops. A bag for carrying Mora? This... This belongs to our family. There's not nothing suspicious about it. That's right, it's very normal. He's so suspicious. Something's definitely off. Um, since we never knew the actual amount, let's go with the first one here, even though, logically though, you'd want to say the more amount, if you were really trying, yeah, but anyways, we're going to try to go with this one, see if this one works. Now then, please draw the marking that was on it. Ah, here we go. Fine, this is indeed not my coin pouch. So many people have passed by my backyard. It's pretty normal for someone to have dropped it, right? It's... What's going on? Ah, uh, you've seen right through me. Alright, now I'm really tempted to take the coin pouch for myself, you know? Uh... Oh... How could you... How can an old man like you have such a mischievous... Uh, wait, have such mischievous thoughts? Uh, you're hiding something else. I I already admitted to my... Sorry, I already admitted my desire to steal the Mora. What else could be the problem? Come now, I will surrender this coin pouch to the sh Shogunate. Something doesn't feel right here. Someone discarded this coin pouch intentionally. What 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 proof do you have for saying this? The coin pouch is just one part of the mystery. We also found found what? Mm, your turn now. Okay, so what did we find the gully or or a little gully earlier? This was intentionally left behind on a rainy night. This is... <clears throat> Where did you get this? Downstream of the gully. How can you prove that these two items are related? Oh, they're related, alright. Ridiculous. How can that be? Unless there's some kind of secret code on the Mora. There's nothing on the Mora, but we did find something elsewhere. We found this near the remains of a cart. This is... This is... I can't believe I was so careless when I was damaging the cart. Hey, now you finally admitted it. Since you already have gotten this far, in your investigation. There's nothing for it. I can't hide it anymore. In that case, you should have a pretty good idea of what happened. A very good idea indeed, Grandpa D. You... 
tried to rob a Shur Shogun net cart, didn't you? And in the midst of the struggle, you destroyed the cart with a single punch, causing the goods to go flying out into the gully. Hoping to save themselves, the Shogunate's people threw their coin pouches into the well to distract you, and then you locked the well up to prevent others from stealing the Mora. Paimon! Is that right? Uh, no, that's not what happened at all. Really? Paimon was going to ask for your key and to have that Mora at the bottom of the well. Surrender to the sh Shogunate, which I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. That's right. They were definitely going to be s surrendered to the Shogunate. Well, this is what actually happened. There was originally a group of young people in the village who got too bold after getting drunk and actually robbed one of the Shogunate's cargo carts. These goods and the bag both belonged to the Shogunate. I couldn't let others know that this shameful incident occurred in our village. That's why I tried to cover it up. What about your conf confession regarding the coin pouch? He did that to cover up the truth. That's right. I thought that you would stop the investigation once I confessed. If it was just me, as long as no one else was affected. Please don't report this to the Shogunate. This isn't about me saving face. I just don't want the entire village to be dragged down in the process. I just want to know the truth. Yeah, we didn't come here to report you. The truth? You young people these days are so interesting. My... Conscience... Conscience! Oh, sorry. My conscience kept bothering me because of this cover-up, so I recorded everything in a diary. I threw the diary onto the roof. If you really want to read it, help yourself, but please don't ruin my recently renovated roof. About the lock on the well? Yeah, it was me, or sorry, yes, it was me who locked up, it was me who locked the well up. I also wrote down where I hid the key. Go read for yourself. Grandpa D, do you know anything about the Conda village barrier? Barrier? Oh, so people still know about that old legend? They say that in ancient times, underneath the ground we are standing right now, lay the roots of the Thunder Sakura, or Sakura. Indeed, this was one of the five roots that protect the peace on Narkami Island. And guarding it and its barrier was said to be irresponsibly assigned to- wait, what? Was said to be a responsibility- oh, a responsibility assigned to us. The Konda clan, by the Kitsune- Saigu herself. But this was a long, long time ago. I hardly recall anything about the details. Okay, I have no idea how many words I just butchered right there. Okay, so now we need to look for the uh, diary on the rooftop. Oh, come on. There. Most of the notes are illegible due to the exposure to the elements. But the lies and cover-up of this thievery weigh heavily on me. Therefore, I decide to leave these notes. The group attacked the public drunkenly, stealing no small amount of goods and some pouches of mora. After such... Sorry, after much discussion, it was decided that this matter should be covered up. The cart was destroyed in the night. The goods and coin pouches were dumped down an empty well. The well was sealed and locked, and the key was hidden in a broken house across the gully on the east side of the village. I think back there? Yeah, that's gotta be it back there. 
Legend has it that it was built by Doan? Do Doan? 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 Sadly, it's a now. Wait, no, sadly, it's now so desolate that it proved a fitting choice to hide such a key. Conda Village should have been preposterous. Right, pre pre preposterous. No, that's not the right word. Uh, pro... One second. Okay, I don't know why I kept putting the word pro in front of it. It's just the word prosperous. So, Conda Village should have been prosperous. The Conda Clan should have, tr uh, should have thrived. I hope, for the sake of T and, and Fuba, no. Futuba. This village shall remain free of mishaps. I don't know why I keep trying to put the word pro in front of it. Oh, that's not... Oh, okay, so that wasn't it there. It's over here. Oh. Well, whoops. Hiya, fellas. There's more. See no more. Oops. No. Wasn't able to. What you get for screwing up my attacks. Wait a minute. How about up there? There's a house up there. And then who's this? A writer. Okay, she has nothing to do with the quest. Uh, I'm out of the area. Head to the uh, quest area race. Uh, what am I looking for? Because uh, there's obviously no house here. Oh, the key. That's what it was. But but it said it. Wait wait wait. But it said it was in the house. Within the wrecked house, the oh, down here. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Okay, so there's the uh, key we need for the well. Okay, so now the well is finally unlocked, and yay, we can finally go down here. Whoa.
Okay, so who keeps these torches and lanterns lit? If no one's been down here for who knows how long. That's another thing that kills me in video games. That's when I see stuff like that. Hold up, there is a mechanism here. Just in Behold, case. The princess and Devil <laughs> That was Oz. Uh, talking here. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute, go back up. Do I have anything to... I created another universe and founded paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and differ er oh. <laughs> eh, wouldn't be enough. Yeah, I need to get Fischl here leveled up to uh, be able to use in the open world here since uh, Inazuma needs electricity and stuff. Um, I created another universe and founded Paradise for I, Fischl, and the princess and... Okay, yeah, her stuff I can do. I, I can... I can definitely acquire the materials to level her up. Hello. Wait, wrong one. I'm always just so used to immediately going to Beto as soon as enemies show up. didn't work. That didn't work either. Okay, I guess it was just the one statue. Or maybe... Wait, did that just light up? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, I need a certain device here. 
Okay, let's see about trying to get through that door there. Okay, okay, so we're gonna put, put that one there. Okay. Oh! Okay. Um. Should I grab the. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's just do this part. Yes. And now we need. Wait, pray? Hello! There's one note here, whereas there's two no notes on the others. Huh. Wonder if that has something to do with this, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna say it has something to do with that. Okay, so. It's obviously showing us where each one is. There's four. But is there a method, like a certain order? Oh! Hello? Oh, I see now. Okay, okay, I figured out the puzzle. Go. Wait. Why well, wouldn't let me switch that one to what? Wait, ho hold on. Oh no, did I just I just reset them all. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so that should be two. Cause see I would have put this to one, but it won't let me. Yeah, only two. This one has to be a three. This one needs to be four. This one needs to be five. Is there anything after five? No. Okay, so obviously this is the last one. Even though I would have actually set it so that this here is the last one, and that one's number one over there, but I can't I can't alter this one. I'm confused. Then it resets. Oh, because oh, I got it in the wrong order, I think. Two. Three. Maybe this is where I'm screwing up. Four and five. 
Okay, now it should work. I don't know why I didn't think of it think of it the other way. What's what the hey is th Oh crap. You can't run. Eh, uh, you're not blocking my attacks. Ow, 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 ow. This battle. Very impressive, says Kazari. Eh, how did you get... When did you... Why? Yikes. I was right to have my eye on you. You are indeed qualified to perform the cleansing. Who are you? I... As you can see, I am simply a shrine maiden who wishes to cleanse evil with your aid. You have helped me greatly already by being able to undo the barrier. If she's been watching us this, all this time, that means... Gramp... Uh, Grandpa D's secret. I am loyal to Narakami Island. Not some police station. Besides, she... I have had dealings with Konda Village for a long time as well. If those families were to be cut off, I would not be able to face... Please excuse me. Let's get back to business. Oh, wait, no, it says let us get back to business. As you may know, the thunder... S you know, I I'm gonna have to, every time I say this word, I'm gonna have to always say it both words, because I don't, I don't know how they say it, and, I, and then even, I think I did hear it once, I for keep forgetting. So, uh, it's either Sakura Secu or Sakura. Maybe it is Sakura. But then there's also the pronunciation Sakura. Sakura, Sakura. Crap, I don't know. Cause see, I've heard it said both ways, even though the one word where it could be a hair off in the the pronunciation on it. But I've I've literally heard it said both ways for that for that that word that that name. I know, cause like I even have like uh, two shows that actually say it differently. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think which way I should always say it. Like, which way I should say it more. Sakura. 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 Maybe it is Sakura for this game. Sakura. I'll try to remember, but you know what? I might still end up later on just keep saying both ways. Because I it's just, I forget, even like right now, even with me saying uh, Sakura, I'll forget that I'm kind of choosing that one, and I'll just say Sakura later on. So, yeah. I can't help it. Uh, the thunder Sakura... Yeah, trees. Symbolize the eternal watch of the Electro Archon. And they have the power to remove evil and purify the earth. However, the polluted tree roots will eventually be corroded. And these tainted sections will form tumors. One after another. That is why we must perform the cleansing ritual. Unfortunately, my physical condition, shall we say, prevents me from accomplishing this deed. Okay, let me guess. Is she a ghost? Because the boy said he saw a ghost. I wonder if this girl's the ghost. That she's actually from the past. There are several more barriers of this kind. Can I ask you to aid me? No. To aid this land? What about your physical condition? Do not fret, our priority is the cleansing. I see, I shall help. Thank you, truly. As for the local... Sorry, as for the localization... No! Lo location! What am I... What the hell am I saying? As for the location of the next barrier, you can visit the abandoned shrine nearby. It's not far northeast of Konda Village. Due to certain circumstances, I fear I cannot go with you. 
Uh, how will we meet up then? The Sakura... Uh, <laughs> the Sakura on the east and west banks differ in speed, and the flowers of the north and south branches vary their bloom. However, everything on this island is under her, under the sacred Sakura's shade, so long as petals still fall like snow upon this island, we will surely meet again. I wish you all the best. Whoa! 40 Primo Gems. Thank you. I don't know why I wasn't thinking to go the other way with this. I kept... I just kept picturing this thing here, for some reason in my head, I kept picturing that was supposed to be number one. Yeah, I don't know, and I, th I actually thought that this was the activator. For some odd stupid reason, I don't know why I didn't just look at it backwards, as the way it is here. I'm an idiot. Oh, where's this, um... Oh, up there. Okay. So, I want this... And then this, and then up. Okay, so we were there earlier, so this is that room we couldn't get to before. Okay, rust worn key. We need that. Oops. Okay, so there's two of them. Huh. There we go. That was the door that we looked at at the beginning of la um, uh, last episode. I was like, how do we get down there? Okay, now the question is, this key that I found, do I save it for this next... Let's get down to business. Area that we're going to be heading to, or do I use it on that one doorway we found in the last episode? Wait, so is this still part of the... Oh my god, it is. <laughs> this could take a while. This whole prerequisite 
quest just to unlock the um, the event. have to find all the chests across all of Inazuma to unlock the that tree up there. Okay, so go to the abandoned shrine northeast of Konda Village. Wouldn't that be this thing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Which way is north? Wait, this is northwest. So that means we need a different shrine. But we need to look for a shrine that looks like this. Shrine northeast of Konda Village. Okay, so let's go back to Village and then follow the different path. this work on that? No. Okay. Alright, let's see what's what this thing is up here. This enemy spot. Enemy hideout. Where'd you guys come from? Wait, there's a fox here. There was a fox near the other shrine. Still need to figure out what's with that house over there. Okay, hold on. I gotta tend to something real quick. BRB. Okay, back and had to tend to the cat. Anyways, not that's all tended to. Oh, hey, I found the right location. Uh, I found the, uh, the ghost. Which just vanished. Uh, 
Okay, so she must be showing me the way. Oh, wait a minute. These are different ghosts. Look, there's no, there's more. Oh my god. There's one up at the, on top. Oh, what? There's another one. Here we go. This is where we need to be. Oh. A fox statue. Yep. It's the same as the one in Conda Village. But Pymon doesn't see a ward in it. Or has the ward been hidden? Ah, it's some troublesome secret again, isn't it? We're a pretty good combination. Right? The village chief told us everything. Wait, there's some writing here. The ward has been sealed within by sacred words. Hmm, what does that mean? There's some more writing as, uh, sorry, writing here as well. Although I hope this seal will never be broken. And although you have now been missing for many years, if the seal must be broken and the cleansing ritual conducted, I hope that you shall be the one to break it. The third line of the sacred words is something you often used to say in the past. Is there anything else? Let Paimon see. But if the one to undo the seal is my successor, then there is one extra step you must go through. There are four great spirits and three spokes in the midst of Domo? I have placed three Shikigami here as guardians only when they are all gathered here in one place you can pre can you proceed. I wouldn't call this a layer of security at all that... Wait, no. I wouldn't call this layer of security all that useful, but it should still serve to fend off some petty thieves. Eh? What is it, Paimon? Then we have to find a solution. Otherwise, we'd be no better than petty thieves. Wait, what? There it goes. Okay, I still had to try. Hmm. If I knew what that what meant, then... A mirror maiden. I'll skip the... Wait, what? Oh, sorry, we still haven't gone through the other achievement. I th or did I? Oh, I guess I did. Uh, defeat, defeat a mere maiden without being trapped by its water prison. I'll skip the spa, thanks. Ah, okay. That's cute. Paimon's getting spooked.
Surprise! Yeah, that was luck. A lot of different enemies around here. Okay, so this spot he here keeps calling out to me. Like something maybe this? Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, it was worth a shot. Okay, so let's go back here and see if we can get another clue. Wait. Wait, am I supposed to make her disappear in a certain order? Oh! I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I finally get it. There's only three ghosts. The ghosts all belong to one of each of the the, the fox statues over there. Bingo. Okay, so we just need one more. And the question is, where's the third girl at? In fact, the, the gauge is all the way over here. I wonder. No, it's got to be closer. Me. 
There. Whoa, they became chests. a book well that should do it <laughs> Paman's exhausted shouldn't I be the exhausted one let's not fuss over the details shall we looks like there's a book in here it's so hard to read oh good god um you know what I'm not going to, it's going to take us about the next 10 minutes to try to, for me to read it verbally. So I'll read it silently. So if you wish to read it, uh, it'll be on the screen long enough as I go through it. If you just want to, you know, read through it and stuff. I mean, even I could just do that and then that, and then you could just pause in the two spots, but I'll quickly just read through as fast as I can and then we can move on. So. Okay, so there's going to be five different uh, cleansing spots. We've already done one. We've seen a second, so we need to find three more. Alright, Paimon says, Paimon's read it all, but it also feels like Paimon didn't read anything at all. Forget it, let's find some professional help. Since it's about gods and demons and stuff, let's go to the Grand Narakami Shrine, shall we? Before we do, let's go get some health. Hello, traveler from afar. Welcome to the Grand Narakami Shrine. 
If you have some trouble or just want to make a wish, feel free to ask Miss G for a fortune slip. May the Electro Archon bless you. I see. I understand the situation. The sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is a very important rite, and there are indeed records of it. But... But the actual details of the ritual have been lost. The summary you are holding is a very valuable historical artifact in that regard. Lost? Are the Fatui behind this? But if you say it's so important, then they might be up to something here too. Oh no, the de degradation... Wait. That's not the right word. One moment. Alright, it's degradation... Yeah, degradation. Yeah. So I guess I had it right. Degradation. Yeah. Uh, anyways... Um, uh, the tra uh, meaning, the, the definition of the word is the condition or, or process of degrading or being degraded, which that I knew, I just, I thought it was trying to say something else, but okay. Uh, anyways, uh, here is due to poor preservation, humidity, and moths. Uh, it's a great shame, but a lot of... Historical records have been lost. La Lady Ye and Sir K <laughs> were fretting over this earlier as well. But as for the sacred words, I do know a thing or two. Uh, please tell us how to unseal that ward. I apologize, but the sacred words used to seal the ward are not some sort of specific formula. Instead, they are something created by the one who casts the seal themselves. Uh, what do you mean? The spell was created on the fly by the caster? This is not precisely so either. Sacred words of this sort do have some rules. Well, do elaborate. I believe that the records go something like this. The first line represents one's own status in Inazuma. Something with the word Envoy attached to it, I believe. The second line is meant to explain the source of one's power. Something like Dengo. Or wait, is it Dango? Dengo. I think it's Dengo. Uh, ramen or a light novel, for example. Oh, Paimon gets it. Those are definitely great power sources. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm just giving an example. The records use... Something like uh, Omnu Haku? No, I butchered it. Sorry. We'll just say OH. As for the third line, yes, you've guessed it. It can be whatever you want it to be. Considering how long it's been, I doubt that any still live who understand how to use this third line. Uh, what shall we do then? Miss Mast Maiden's commission and this whole nation, it's gonna go kaput. Relax, Paimon. Perhaps these two items can be of aid to you. This is the memento lens. Memento? So it's a souvenir? Since the two of you are so knowledgeable... Wait. So the two of you are so knowledgeable... Yeah. I trust that you must have heard of the camera. It's a Fontaine-made device that can record images. A long time ago, when Rito, Rito was first founded, the... Haragi? Haragi clan? No, that can't be right. Okay, the age clan leader. Hiroshi. Hiroshi. Sorry, Hiroshi. 
imported many new inventions from other places to prove the benefits of building a trading hub. For example, he used a Shinai... They said it last season. Uh, Shinaisen? No, Shinaian? Shinaian. However you pronounce that, good god. Anyways, blast furnace to turn an old H-Clan mansion at Tenshu Aku. I don't know how you say that. Into a hot spring. Before sending it as a gift and token appreciation to her excellency. He has also used the demon exercising mirror gifted to the H clan by the Kitsun Saigu or Saigu, Saigu, I think it's Saigu, I think the A silent. Saigu to create a special camera in Fontaine. It can record thoughts and memories. It was returned to us here at the sh shrine as a token of appreciation of friendship. You know, every time I, I see the word Fontaine, all I ever think about is Bioshock. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just, I just can't get it out of my head. Anyways. As the years pass, the camera itself ceased to function. Only the lens blessed by the Kits Kitsune Saigu can still see things that no longer exist in certain special places. We extracted the lens and named it the Memento Lens. The two of you have come on account of the Sakura, or Sakura, and I can sense from our conversation that you are trustworthy. I believe that it will come to good use in your hands. Such an important item. I suppose you may not be familiar with this as outsiders, but we believe that everything, yeah, everything has a soul. Even stones and trees have memories, and when it has sorry, when an item is left unused for a long time, it will grow bitter with dis dissatisf dissatisfaction. Yeah, dissatisfaction. Okay. As such, we might as well give the lens to someone who can show it all the changes the world has gone through rather than letting it gather dust in our shrine. No problem. Leave it to us. Legend has it that after the Kitsune Saigu disappeared, her familiars, the Earth Kitsune of Narkami Island, turned into sleeping statues in many places waiting for her to return. If you see a small strange looking fox statue, look at Oh, sorry, looking at it through the memento lens may reveal something new. Uh, thank you. May the Electron Archon bless you. I shall be counting on you two then. Yeah, here we go. We finally got the new gadget. The unique gadget known as the memento lens can be used to observe the surrounding world. Observe this Earth Kitsune statue through it and something miraculous will happen. Okay, so wait. Wrong button. Can I actually... <gasps> Ooh, we can use this as a, um... Like a magnifying glass. Yes! <laughs> Finally! I gotta see if there's any of these up here. Thankfully, I know what we're looking for, so... That's good. <laughs> Unlike other times where I'm like, uh, what are we looking for again? Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, while we're here, let's see if I can unlock any more levels. Because we did get a lot of sigils. Yeah, we can get another one. Ta-da! All 
Okay, so we're finally level two. And now the duration's increased by five seconds to 20 seconds. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Something. Oh, here. Oh. It just. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that five extra seconds is going to really help. Return to the abandoned shrine and use the memento lens to investigate. On a deserted island, rain is a precious source of drinking water. There's no need for it now, though. It's kind of rare to get this view here to be able to look around like this, so... Taking advantage of it. I guess I'll just follow the previous example and use and the Hakushin bloodline as the second line. I am no master. Oh, after all. Wait a minute. Um, real quick, that guy there. He looks just like the guy we met down at the village that has no memory. It couldn't be him, could it? I think it is. Uh, you are... That person seems very nice on the surface. Hey, long time no see. Guess you're still so cold to me, huh? Wait, no. Who are you? This scent. It... Is it time for the cleansing ritual again? I am... Call me Kazari. No need to tell me. I get it. I thought she returned for a moment there. Uh, so that's what happened. Yeah, don't worry about it. Nice to meet you, Miss Kazari. Uh, I, I remember now. About this sacred Sakura. About you. About Raiden. Wait... Perhaps what you're seeing right now is not me, but Ar Aro? No. Ariel? No. Uh, I in disguise. After all, Miss Kazari, you've never seen me in person before, right? I'm not sure there would be much difference either way if my mem memory serves. Come on, that wasn't called for. Okay, wait, what? That whole entire conversation was literally completely... What? That literally made no sense. No sense whatsoever. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta find out.
No, he wears his hair completely different. Even though this could be an older version of him. Why am I even here? What's the point? Yeah, because we could have been looking at the past, which is why I believe what we were looking at. But that whole entire conversation, to me, seemed like it was nothing but jumbled. Yes, it looks like the spirit veins here can be used. Sorry, st can still be used. Wait a minute. I wish we could see closer. Our familiars are also here. Yes, this is a fine place. Or sorry, yes, it is a fine place. Well then, allow me to use sacred words to protect this ward. Then the first line shall be in the name of Narakami's envoy. Okay, so we got the first line, we got the second line. Then let us part ways here. Ah, you're so cold. Rosy cheeked in the morning, bleached bones by dusk. Oh, come on. It was at least half an emotional reunion for me. Actually, maybe it was more like one quarter. Ah, uh, you're gone already. Come on. Oh my god, this is ir aggravating. It, literally, each line is like as if they're talking to someone else, so to speak. Like, in other words, it's like there's a lot of text missing in between. It's like if I was going to say the sentence... Come on, let's go up to the the house up there. But then break it up. I'd say, come on, house, there. Yeah. That's basically what the, this is, what it is. It's driving me insane. Okay, so it seems we're only looking for the ones that are actually... Um... Oops. Like that. Ha! Uh, skip, 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 skip. Yeah. So we're only looking for ones that are glowing. With the power. Um... I know it's not supposed to work on these guys, but I just... Okay. Briefly wondering. Oh, here's one. This was my previous... Wait, that wasn't me. It was her previous territory. That person over there seems so familiar. Oh, just shut! You know, I'm like, shut up already. <laughs> just say everything. Okay, so basically what I'm understanding here is that supposedly these are memories of the past in fragments. Yeah. Fragmented memories. And that's why we're not getting the entire picture. Maybe if we complete this, maybe we'll get the entire thing all together in one go. Maybe. I don't know. That's just my thought. How quickly the shrine has fallen to neglect after losing its master and the incense within. I can only, I can only hope that the barrier within 
The cavern still strong, stands strong. I remember now. She once instructed people to construct a locked gate by canal on the road leading to Chinju. F Wait, is it Chin? Chinju? Yeah. Chinju Forest before giving the key to the Konda clan. I hope everything is still alright. Turn to the bin. Oh, no. Um, here we go. Here's one. That being said, after she left, I seems to, or maybe I'll just say Iro. Iroi? Iro. Maybe Iro. Just, yeah. Seems to have led his tribe to wreak havoc everywhere. Well, I could have kept one eye shut had Iroh stayed in the Chinju forest. Guess he needs to be taught a good lesson. Yeah, it's decided. We'll go... Sorry, we'll let her go this time. After all, it's not my job, and... It's not as if she is some monster charging at me like an... Oki... Orchi... Maybe it's Ochi... Ochi Musha? Like an Oshi Musha might? Oh, you know what? Forget it. I can't believe this. I'm all tuckered out already. I thought I'd run into a long lost friend. That feeling is so exhausting. What am I missing? Okay, so this shrine is directly underneath. I wonder if this is where it wants me to go. Problem is we don't have the ward yet. Which, of course, that shrine there was the one we found in the last episode. This is getting very annoying. I don't know what else I'm missing. I could have sworn we've hit all the different statues now. And then even at that, what are we supposed to do? Oh, 
Okay, images of the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wait, there was no third, so we just need to talk to the statue. Say the different lines, which now I don't remember what the lines are. Great. Well, the game will remember it. Whoa! Wait, what? No, no, I don't... Wait, where do we... Maybe it was here. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I got the two lines. The girl even said we can make up the third one. The the one line was found through this this piece here, and the other line was f found through. I think it was this one. In the name of Narcomi's en envoy. In the name of Narcomi's envoy. In the name of Narcomi's envoy. Okay, so the second one is. Oh, I hit the wrong. No. Well, the game will hopefully recognize it. And the... Okay, the bloodline. Alright. Okay, game. I got the two lines. There is no third, it seems. how I unlocked the, uh, the chest there without even trying to do the puzzle. <laughs> that was funny. All I'm doing was trying to beat the crap out of the enemy. And, uh, we actually solved the puzzle in the process. <laughs> Anyways, as for the quest here, I'm getting really ticked off now. Really ticked off. Because I don't know... What is go what 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 am I doing wrong? I got the two lines. The girl said there, that you can only find two lines, the third one was made up. We've hit every single one of these thingies we can look at. Unless there's one that's so well hidden that it's completely ridiculous. And it just still says, oh investigate, investigate. Well game, won't you give me another clue or something? I hate it whenever we do something and the game's like, 
Now, I'm not going to tell you, you know, whether or not you're you're done or not, but it's like, I, I am done. I can go to the next step. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not, that's, that's not that simple. It's like whenever you have kind of like a game where you, you have a door right in front of you and it's locked, okay? Now, the game is telling you you got to go through that door, so you got to find a key. But, but in the game... Beside the door, there's an opening where you can just go around the door and then get into the room you need to get into. But the game doesn't accept that. No, the game is going to put an invisible barrier right where the the empty hole is, uh, or the the opening part, you know, to get around the door. The game wants you to go through the door, so it's like, wait, I don't, I don't get it. Why can't it just go around the door? I mean, there's 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 an opening here. Why can't it go around? Like, no, uh, uh the game says, uh, uh you got to go through that door. You see what I'm saying? In other words, it wants you to go on a set path. It does. You can't. You can't go around. You can't deviate. Even if you know what what to do. Like okay, like I know I gotta go. I gotta get into that room on the other side. All right. But no, the game specifically wants you to go through that door. You you can't go any other way to get into the room. That's what I'm trying to explain. And that's what's happening here. Unless I miss something. I mean, obviously we missed something with the game once, but I'm saying like, unless I miss something in the in in the overall quest text, whatever you want to call it, uh, something something's wrong here. Something is seriously wrong. The girl up there said there was two lines. We got the two lines down here. Now what am I supposed to do? Now I know we're supposed to to say the two lines plus something else. But I don't know where because the game never told me. And the game is also saying like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah you got to do this, 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 this. I'm like, what, 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 what? Okay, now it keeps telling me return to the abandoned shrine, okay? There's nothing else there. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to magically find this place down here now? And then just automatically know to come here even though the game is telling me to go up there? I did. Okay, and use... Find the correct sacred words and obtain the ward from the Sky Kitsune statue. Wait a minute. No, that's a shrine over there. No, the only thing is just the statue over here. Now, it, it told us... That we needed to to uh, put the three pieces together, which we did right here. Okay, we got that step done. All right. So, what the fruitcake does this thing want? Words been sealed in place using sacred words. Yeah, we got the words. There are four great. Sp Wait, what's the fourth four great spirits? Hold on, I missed something here. No, nah, okay, I don't know what the four great spirits are. I gotta figure out what in the world that, that means. Uh, but anyways, it says, and three spokes in the thing. Okay, the three spokes, or well, in this case, three, the, uh, it's the Gami thingies. Here's Guardians. We got that. Okay, we did that part. It says, only when they are all gathered here in one place can one proceed. I did that already! Game. Game, I did that. As for this, is probably just one of those bloom thingies. I did look around for electric thingy, but I couldn't find one. 
Unless there's one down here and I can climb up real fast. Okay, here. We're gonna try and go as fast as humanly possible. Let me switch over to the stamina crew. Yeah, it was just a balloon. That's all it was. Oh, wrong character. No! I meant to go to... <clears throat> I bet you the other two are balloons as well, but I'll, I'll test them out. I'll figure them out now before we continue. Okay, did it say four something? Okay, so one. It was two over there. That's three, four, five, <clears throat> six. Actually, there's six of these. Okay, so that can't be the four. Um, Wait a minute. There was that one where he was telling us to go to the one. No, 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 because it's outside the barrier. It's outside the zone. <sighs> this has got to be bugged. I give up. I give up. I don't know what it wants me to do. I did everything that it that it asked of me, and oh wait, there was three. There was three of these things over here. There was one there, one there, and one there. So there was actually seven then total. BRB, I'm gonna have to look it up on the internet. 
this is bad game design whenever it gets to this point where I've gone everywhere and I gotta look it up on the internet. Like, what the hey? Oh, for crying out loud, there was a third line. That's what we're missing. Even though the girl up there said, you can make it up. No, we actually had to hear the guy say it, and apparently it was from this one right here. How did I miss this one? I'll never know. My, that lady is such a buzzkill. If I'm to have a dis uh, disciple one day, I shall find a cheerful and beautiful lady. Yeah, they'll make. I'll make sure of that. Now as for the third line. Ah, right. This looks good. Bring forth the fried tofu. Yeah, that's what we were looking for this whole time. Since this is her territory, the land of H bloodline, we'll go with that. There. Finally. I just don't understand how I went by that so many times and missed it. I kept missing it over and over and over and over and over again. Alright, it's time to unlock the seal. The first line is... Uh... Envoy. Huh, was that right? Well, whatever. Paimon remembers the second line... That the second line should be... Wait, what? Yeah, bloodline be second. Third line should be something about delicious food. Bring the fried tofu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that should do the trick. Oh, finally! I hate this. I hate the fact so much. I mean, I could literally pull my hair out right now over the fact I kept missing that one, just that one. And I don't even know how I was missing it. It was, it was right there out in the open. How the fruitcake did I miss it? And I guess whenever she said that make the third line up, that meant the, the original caster made the third line up, not the us making the third line up. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Uh, what? Oh, god, gosh. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, one. Whoops. Two. And the rest of these should be three. Oh, yes, it was. It was right. Again, the two of you have my thanks. Whoa! This again, eh? I apologize. There are some things that become a habit, perhaps. Why are you following us again? Couldn't you just say hello? She must have her reasons. I, uh, sorry. Paimon's tired from flowing around too much. Paimon didn't mean to be rude. It is alright. The barrier here has been undone successfully and thus does the cleansing which will come a step closer to completion thank you very much what's the deal with the sacred sakura cleansing ritual anyway is it the same as the cleansing you asked us to do earlier uh, so we found this book called the sacred sakura cleansing summary which Paimon didn't understand at all. People can't read it nowadays? 
but it was written in the common tongue. People nowadays? Hey, just how old are you? Well, uh, uh, hey, that's very rude of you. Anyway, the sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is a rite of purification. The thunder Sakura of Narakami Island can absorb the fifth, or sorry, filth within the earth, but over time that filth will accumulate. If too much filth accumulates, the thunder Sakura may wither. Therefore, it is necessary to perform some minor purifications on the roots of thunder Sakura scattered in five places around Narakami, Narak Narakami Island every once in a while, and to set a barrier up. This way they are given the power to remove the accumulated filth. What about the cleansing ritual then? When there is enough filth accumulated in the barrier, it becomes necessary to perform the cleansing ritual. Alright, Paimon gets it. So when the performing... Sorry, so when performing the cleansing ritual, we need to use a ward to break the barrier over the tree roots. This is an excellent understanding of the situation. Of course, we've done it twice now, after all. So those monsters that look like samurai were... So that's how they present themselves nowadays. The embod they are the embodiment of the land's defilement. Once driven out of the roots by the ward, they will condense into a physical form. Back then, I, I, uh, I mean, according to the past records, they would turn into Kasha, Igunami, Black Jades, um, Bozu. I'm mispronouncing all these words. Uh, raging flames and other such things and not all of them would harm people either for example there were the tofu boys Kasha tofu boys what in the world are those oh people don't know about these creatures nowadays oh come on just give it up just tell these two dingbats you're from the past that you're a ghost at the moment please this is so stupid whenever they, they, they draw this out so long. Anyway, she continues to say, <clears throat> But now they have all turned into ferocious Orkosh... Orchimusha. No, or Ochimusha. I'll forget it. What has happened to Inazuma? Uh, so what if the cleansing rituals aren't performed and the trees do wither? As I recall, I mean, the records say that the Thunder Sakura almost withered several hundred years ago. Monsters raged unchecked then. Even the seas turned black. The Thunder Sakura tried their hardest to absorb all the evil and the filth, and they almost died in the process. What happened then? The things that came after. I'm really sorry, but I'm not too familiar with them. Either way, the present situation tells me that the problem was resolved in the end. Someone performed the cleansing ritual. You mentioned that there are five places. Thanks to your efforts, two root barriers have been undone. Next, having done and seen so much, the two of you must be tired and hungry. I've prepared some dishes. I hope you will like them. Wow, it looks delicious. You might be wearing a mask, but you're the best shrine maiden in Inazuma for sure. Paimon's real hungry, eh? Well then, please enjoy yourself. Oh, this is great. Is it really? Well, now that Paimon thinks about it, we just ate so much, but it feels like we've eaten nothing at all. Mist mask Miss Masked Maiden, did you use magic? You seem very sensitive to things of mis mystical nature. Regardless, please don't worry, these dishes were made with magic I secretly learned from the Bake Denukai. They are absolutely harmless, generally speaking. Generally speaking? The reason I have 
served you so much suspicious, well, delicious food is to help heal the remaining roots. The Chinju Forest is also home to a ward and a root that requires cleansing, and I believe that an old friend of mine still dwells deep within that forest. You believe? It was a very long time ago. I'm afraid that I'm not entirely sure if he remembers me, or if he might hate me. He can't move freely, and he can't communicate with people either. But after eating this, you should be able to communicate with him. That old friend of mine should be able to help you at least a little. So I did this for the sake of the cleansing ritual. The two of you have already twice demonstrated your honor, compassion, and skill. Surely you will finish this deed for the sake of the land's well-being, right? Yeah, since Miss Masked Maiden says we have to, let's finish this fight. You're too easily led, Paimon. Hey, how could you say that? What about the other roots? Apart from Jinju Forest, there's a tree root at a place called Ara... Army? No. I don't know. I forget it. I wonder if there are still people living there. I haven't been there for a long time. The last one is outside the Kamizetsuto residence. There is a pit on a beach northeast of there, and the root is within. I, ha I leave the cleansing ritual to you. I have another question. Please go ahead. Back there in the abandoned shrine, Miss Masked Maiden, we saw someone who looked just like you through the memento lens. Her name was Kazari. Are you that Kazari? Indeed I am. Has Paimon been cheated? Uh, you're the only one who's been calling her Miss Masked Maiden. Well, anyway... What was that all about? I... I'm sorry, I never meant to hide anything from you. I've just never had a chance to explain. Nor is now the right time either. I'm really sorry. Well, fine. Paimon gets it. Just let us know once you've got the chance, Miss Masked Maiden. Right? You're right. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, yes. One other thing. When you spoke of the memento lens earlier, what were you referring to? That mirror, Her Hiroshi, he, what happened? I lost my composure. Please forgive me. In that case, please keep this memento lens safe. It's a very precious in instrument indeed. I understand. Please do. It's very precious. Don't worry. I'll be sure to look after it well. There are small fox statues in many different places. They are called Earth K Kitsun. With the memento lens, one can summon forth scenes from the past at those statues' locations. If it can be of aid in your adventures, please make good use of the, mem of the memento lens. We'll use it well. Please do and protect it. Don't bump it against things, and remember to clean it regularly. Okay, got it. That's good. Now then, if you excuse me, I must go. Uh, how will we meet up? If the, Sir, if the Crimson Secura knows the pain of parting, it will forever stay. Our fates shall surely be inter, sorry, entwined like those of the Secura Bloom. To our next meeting, I'll be praying for your success beneath the well in Konda, Vi yeah, Konda Village, where you successfully purified the Thunder Secura route. I wish you all the best. Good. Gosh, that went on forever. That could have really been cut down a lot. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to have to continue this in the next episode. Uh, okay, so there's three left. Does it show where we're supposed to go next so I know for later? Okay, uh, undo and now navigate. 
open the quest menu to oh oh because there's three locations so it's not gonna show um please three other places total flats outside. okay yeah it says right there uh okay so chinju forest and they are a <coughs> whatever uh okay so one here one here oh that one right there is relating to this here and then okay the forest the nut and then ah oh, the estate okay so there's one here so those are the three places we're gonna need to go in next episode if you ever want to trade tactics and look for the The hidden spots. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's teleport. You know, let's just go back to our normal seat and then, uh. Yeah, that'll be. What we need to do. Load. Okay, loaded. Anyways, there was one other thing. Alright, so did we complete the. Nope. Nope, and nope, we, we're still on, oh my god, this whole entire huge, massive quest, <laughs> uh, we have to do the entire thing in order to, uh, to get to the event. With the following person Escape plan, part of the uh, subquest of Okay, so we did a strange story in Conda. We're on sacrificial offering now, and then there's still gonna be a third part, something something in the forest. Then what's this Rito escape? Oh, oh yeah, Rito escape plan was when we escape Rito. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know that we did that already. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we still need to finish the current thing, the sacrificial offering, and then, like I said, this TB in the forest. We're saving away for the for an opening time before unlocking the next one. Oh, good gosh. Wow. Well, thankfully I've put aside a lot of time here to work on this, but wow. Good gosh, wow. Alright, well anyways, this is going to be it for episode, or sorry, season 3, episode 2 of Genshin Impact. We'll of course be back next time with episode 3, where, where, where we will continue this cleansing ritual and hopefully be able to finish the, the last three in next episode, hopefully, as long as it doesn't have like five hour dialogues. And, um... Maybe then get to that that TB in the forest part maybe next episode, hopefully. But if not, then it won't be till the following episode after that. Good gosh. And then even after that, how long will that take? <laughs> and then finally after that, then uh, we can finally get to the, the event, which, oh my god. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a bunch of episodes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this episode. So until next time. Keep on gaming.